To show you how tendons move your bones, I have invented this. A model arm made of space-age materials. Zond, this is something made of cardboard, a bit of string and some straws. Well, they use all of those things in space. Now, this is the muscle. This is the bone. This piece of string is the tendon connecting the two of them. Now, when I take this balloon, put it in here and inflate it... Wow! When Zond inflates the balloon, it's like my muscle contracting and it pulls on the tendon and moves the bone. Your tendons have to be strong so that they can lift and move your bones and anything else you're carrying. The strongest and thickest tendon in your body is the Achilles tendon. Any? What have I told you about shoes in the lab? Well, I thought everyone would like to see my Achilles tendon. It's right here. It connects my calf to my heel. Do you know, Chris, your Achilles tendon is meant to be stronger than steel. It's just a shame we don't have any way to test that in the lab. Well, Zand, I actually have the perfect experiment for this, but we do need to head outside and you're going to need this. Meet Dr Chris's tendon testing cryo crane. Let's go find out how it works. This is a horse's tendon. These are scientists from Queen Mary University of London. They're attaching these clamps to the horse tendon, which is then frozen with dry ice. Let's test how strong this tendon really is, but maybe we should start with something small. Well, we could use Sahara. Is she here? Yes, she's right here. Oh, hi, Sahara. Hi, Chris. Well, sounds like it's time for some tendon-powered flight. Get in the bag. Come on. Are you strapped in? Yep. Helmet's on? Yes. Great stuff. Good luck. We'll see you when you land. Remember, Sahara's body weight is being supported only by the horse tendon. But will it hold? Three, two, one, lift off! You're airborne! Woo! <laughs> that one small tendon is holding the full weight of Sahara. That's amazing. So, Zahara, were you impressed at how strong the horse tendon was? Yes, but it wouldn't be able to carry you two's weight. Zahara, you are about to learn the power of the horse tendon. We're going up in the crane. You guys are crazy. We're going to push this horse's tendon to the limit and see if it's strong enough to take the weight of not one of us, but both of us. Good luck. Three, Three two, two, one, lift off! We're up! Whoa, we're is incredible! The only thing holding us up is a horse tendon! Wow! That one little tendon is taking our combined weight of 180 kilograms. It really is as strong as steel. We've shown you that tendons give you amazing movement and flexibility. And just how super strong they really are. Take us down! Back to Earth! Chris, quick, someone's having a medical emergency. And which hospital department do you suppose we should go and find them in, Zand? The toilets? The emergency department. Let's go. Over in Older Hay Emergency Department, it's ten-year-old Leona, her mum, and a painful-looking pin. My legs got a bit caught on it. How did that happen? I tripped over. Oh, no. Let's go back to the beginning. Leona was in the living room doing her homework. Was it a cool science experiment testing what happens if you set fire to an enormous balloon full of hydrogen? Uh, no, Zara, that would be far too dangerous. Oh, was Leona doing a French assignment? Die fromage! No, it's not her French homework. History! Was she learning about Queen Victoria? Zara, what did I just tell you? Leona was doing her maths homework. She thought she heard her mum arriving home from work, so ran to meet her. Yes, and... She tripped and landed on the metal door frame. Ouch! I hope the doctor can fix my leg. Ready to take on Leona's leg challenge is Dr Victoria Westwood. Well, what we'll do, I'll put some gloves on, see what we're dealing with. Get ready for a really icky gross alert. Ooh, that looks sore. Unfortunately, it's a bit too deep, so it has to be stitches. I've never had stitches before. Don't worry, Leona. Thanks to an injection of local anaesthetic, you won't feel a thing. I'm going to be brave. That's the attitude. Hope you're not squeamish. 
Here's an even closer alert. Dr Victoria injects the pain relief straight into the cut. You might feel a little bit of a sting. Wow, the owner really is brave. What do you reckon she's thinking about, Chris? No idea. I reckon she's probably dreaming of a sunny beach and ice cream and lots of bouncing bunny rabbits. Mm, maybe. Once her knee is numb, it's time to clean that cut. Very brave. And here's one last uber mega gross alert as Dr Victoria gets stitching. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. Leona's all sewn up and some strips will help the heating. And these stitches will have to stay in for probably about 10 days mm -hmm. because it's quite near a joint, so there'll be lots of movement around there. It takes a little bit longer to heal to get that strength back in the skin. Time to head home. How are you doing now, Leona? My leg feels a bit better. Fantastic. Bye! Bye.